Pantelleria, a name that conjures up images of rugged volcanic beauty, deep azure waters, and a way of life deeply connected to the land. This small Italian island, nestled between Sicily and Tunisia, is now at a crossroads. A proposed national park has ignited passionate debate, dividing the community and raising profound questions about the island's future. The referendum on the park is not simply about conservation, it cuts to the core of Pantelleria's identity. It forces residents to weigh the preservation of their natural heritage against potential impacts on their livelihoods and way of life. The outcome of this vote will reverberate for generations to come. The stakes are high and the decision facing the people of Pantelleria is complex. In the lead up to the referendum, understanding the nuances of the debate is crucial. It is about more than just yes or no. It is about the soul of an island and the legacy it will leave behind. At the heart of the debate lies a proposal to designate a significant portion of Pantelleria as a national park. This designation, fiercely advocated for by environmental groups and some islanders, aims to safeguard the island's unique biodiversity and landscapes. The proposed park encompasses diverse ecosystems. It includes the dramatic slopes of Montaña Grande, the island's highest peak, home to rare plant species found nowhere else on Earth. The park would also protect Pantelleria's iconic coastline, with its dramatic cliffs, hidden coves and crystal clear waters teeming with marine life. The park's proponents argue that this designation is essential. They believe it is the best way to shield Pantelleria's natural treasures from the pressures of development and tourism. However, the proposal has also sparked anxieties among some islanders who fear that the park's restrictions could impact their livelihoods and traditional way of life. The debate over the national park has divided Pantelleria. Islanders find themselves caught between their deep love for their home and anxieties about the future. Understanding both sides of this complex issue is essential. Those in favor of the park, a diverse group of environmentalists, scientists and residents, argue that it is critical for safeguarding Pantelleria's unique natural heritage. They point to the island's extraordinary biodiversity. They highlight the presence of endangered species and fragile ecosystems that are vulnerable to human activity. Opponents of the park, primarily farmers, fishermen and business owners, express valid concerns. They fear that the park's regulations could restrict their activities, impacting their livelihoods. They worry about potential limitations on fishing, farming practices and development, which are central to the island's economy. For many islanders, the no vote is not a rejection of conservation. It is a vote of concern, a desire to protect their way of life. Their anxiety stem from the potential impact of the park's regulations on their livelihoods. Farmers, the backbone of Pantelleria's agricultural tradition, worry about restrictions on land use and farming practices. The island's fertile volcanic soil produces renowned wines, capers and fruits. Farmers fear that park regulations could limit their ability to manage their land effectively, jeopardizing their crops and income. Fishermen who rely on the sea for their livelihood express concerns about potential fishing limitations within the park's boundaries. The waters surrounding Pantelleria are teeming with fish, a vital source of income for many families. They fear that restrictions could decimate their catch, impacting their ability to provide for their families. Section 5. The Yes Camp Safeguarding Pantelleria's Unique Heritage The Yes Campaign is driven by a deep love for Pantelleria and a desire to protect its natural treasures for future generations. Proponents of the park view it as a crucial step towards preserving the island's unique beauty and biodiversity. They argue that the park would attract eco-conscious tourists. These tourists would appreciate and respect the island's natural environment. They believe that this type of sustainable tourism would create economic opportunities for locals while minimizing the negative impacts associated with mass tourism. Furthermore, they emphasize that the park would provide a legal framework for conservation efforts, securing funding and resources to protect Pantelleria's fragile ecosystems. They believe that this protection is essential to combating threats such as habitat loss, pollution and climate change, which could have devastating consequences for the island. Section 6. Democracy in Action – The Path to a Public Referendum The debate surrounding the National Park in Pantelleria is more than just a disagreement. 
It is a testament to the power of democracy and the importance of citizen participation in shaping the future of their communities. The referendum, a direct vote by the people of Pantelleria, is the culmination of years of passionate debate and advocacy on both sides of the issue. It reflects a deep commitment to democratic principles and ensuring that the voices of all islanders are heard. The path to the referendum has been marked by public meetings, petitions and campaigns from both sides. The Comitato Referendum, PACO, a group opposed to the PAC, has been instrumental in mobilizing support for the no vote. They have organized rallies, distributed leaflets and engaged in door-to-door -door canvassing to raise awareness about their concerns. Section 7, Skari Town Square, a community gathers to debate its future. The upcoming public meeting in Skari Town Square represents a pivotal moment in the debate over the National Park. This gathering will provide a platform for islanders to engage in open dialogue, share their perspectives and seek clarification on the potential impacts of the park. The meeting, organized by the Comitato Referendum Parco, is expected to draw a large crowd. Islanders from all walks of life, including farmers, fishermen, business owners, environmentalists and concerned citizens, will have the opportunity to voice their opinions and engage in respectful debate. The meeting will feature speakers from both sides of the issue, presenting their arguments and addressing questions from the audience. It will serve as a crucial forum for information sharing, allowing islanders to make informed decisions about their future. Section 8. Beyond the Vote. Exploring the potential impacts on Pantelleria. The referendum's outcome will have far-reaching consequences for Pantelleria, shaping its environmental, economic and social landscape for generations to come. Regardless of the result, the vote will mark a turning point in the island's history. If the yes vote prevails, Pantelleria will embark on a new chapter, one defined by enhanced environmental protection and a focus on sustainable tourism. The establishment of the National Park would bring with it increased funding for conservation efforts, potentially leading to the creation of new jobs in park management and ecotourism. However, if the no vote succeeds, it will signal a desire among islanders to maintain their autonomy and traditional way of life. The rejection of the park would likely lead to a renewed focus on balancing economic development with environmental protection, potentially through alternative conservation strategies. Section 9. Charting a course navigating towards a sustainable future. The National Park referendum has ignited a crucial conversation about the future of Pantelleria. It has forced islanders to confront difficult questions about balancing economic development with environmental protection. Regardless of the outcome, the debate itself has been invaluable. It has highlighted the importance of community engagement in decision-making processes that impact their lives. It has also underscored the need for open and transparent dialogue where diverse perspectives can be heard and considered. Moving forward, Pantelleria must find a path that respects its natural heritage while ensuring the well-being of its people. This will require collaboration, compromise and a shared vision for the island's future. Section 10. A decision looms. Will Pantelleria embrace or reject the park? As the day of the referendum draws near, the fate of Pantelleria's national park hangs in the balance. The island finds itself at a crossroads, grappling with a decision that will shape its destiny for generations to come. The weight of this choice rests heavily on the shoulders of every islander. Will they opt to embrace the park, prioritizing the preservation of their natural heritage and potentially opening doors to new economic opportunities through ecotourism? Or will they choose to reject it, safeguarding their autonomy and traditional way of life while seeking alternative paths to balance development with conservation? The answer lies in the hands of the people of Pantelleria. Their decision will not only determine the fate of the proposed national park, but will also shape the legacy they leave for future generations. As they cast their votes, they will be making a profound statement about their values, their aspirations, and their vision for the future of their beloved island home.